Despite all the sweet stories and seemingly divine expectations we have about Cardano 88, it might hit the rock soon. The fears are potent since it has refused to leverage every opportunity to scale higher. So what do we do? Sell and run? Cryptocurrency investors are always thrilled about the potential for blockchain technology to revolutionize payments and possibly even improve other aspects of life, such as supply chains. For example, Ethereum's blockchain is the core to the success of decentralized finance. It could be used to replace seemingly mile-long paper trails associated with shipping goods around the world. However, not every cryptocurrency is as successful as Ethereum or Bitcoin. Most blockchain projects and cryptocurrencies lie somewhere between grossly overvalued and completely worthless, and it's better to avoid them like the plague. So I guess we ask, naturally, is Cardano one of them? Before May 2022, these two cryptocurrencies appeared revolutionary and surefire. These, of course, were Terra Classic USD, and that was a stablecoin that offered yields of 20% that was pegged to the US dollar. Meanwhile, Terra Classic, the native token for Terra Classic USD, was being minted or burned based on an algorithm to help Terra Classic USD maintain its pegged. And it all worked great, until the story flipped. Over $2 billion in Terra Classic USD was unstaked in early May of 2022, which caused Terra Classic USD to unpeg and led to the minting of trillions of Terra Classic tokens. In a couple of days, more than $60 billion in market value was lost, and a seemingly surefire money machine for crypto yield farmers fizzled up into smoke. There are ultra popular cryptocurrencies to avoid. The prominent ones is arguably the ones with the greatest degree of support from the retail community, Dogecoin. Faithful holders of Dogecoin firmly believe that they are getting in near at the ground floor of a broad based adoption. They are also girded with the idea of billionaire Elon Musk and Mark Cuban throwing their support behind Dogecoin. However, what these folks fail to see is that Dogecoin brings no competitive advantages to the table. Simply put, it's not adding value to the payment space with so many other better options being available, regardless of its popularity. The performance and underlying metrics of Dogecoin's blockchain are something to raise an eyebrow at. The average Dogecoin transaction fee is around 55 cents, which is markedly higher than at least a dozen of other popular digital currencies. In addition to being pricier, Dogecoin's blockchain is not particularly speedy at validating and settling transactions. And Dogecoin's network isn't all that popular, nor is it truly capable of handling a large influx of transactions. Want another reason to avoid Dogecoin? How about its limited real-world utility? Despite being described as the quote-unquote people's currency, Dogecoin is only accepted by 1,714 businesses worldwide, according to the online business directory, Cryptwork, and it has taken 8 years just to reach this point. If Elon Musk's sugarcoats tweets about Dogecoin are removed from the equation, there is simply nothing in its sales. Also, Shiba Inu might be the most dangerous on the list. It was launched last summer as a meme coin that derived its inspiration from the Japanese Shiba Inu dog breed. This coin is reaching to capitalize on the same community effect that sent Dogecoin soaring earlier this year and is piggybacking on the Shiba Inu theme to aid in that journey. In addition, since the supply of Shiba Inu coins was 1 quadrillion tokens at launch, its per coin price is a microscopic 2,614 hundred millionths of a dollar. Just as some investors wrongly believe that owning more shares of a penny stock will give them a greater chance of getting rich, Shiba Inu appears to be capitalizing on the wrong idea that owning more tokens of a nominally cheap cryptocurrency will give investors a shot at getting rich quickly. Shiba Inu is likely a pump and dump coin. According to data from Coinbase, the average investor holding time is only 6 days. Considering the potential for wash sale rules coming into effect, as well as higher tax rates connected with short-term capital gains, trading Shiba Inu on the expectation that Elon Musk tweets a picture of his dog doesn't seem to be worth the risk. Putting into perspective that it's only been a little over a year, just 43 businesses worldwide accept Shiba Inu as a form of payment, per crypt work. Outside of a crypto exchange, Shiba Inu's is effectively worthless. But what do we have to say about Cardano? Is it going to share the same stories as cryptocurrencies that have failed or seemingly prepared for a huge fall? What does the crypto community think of Cardano? These questions are highly important to answer because this would partly determine where Cardano is headed. Of course, Cardano is not like the meme currency set for a rude decline in prosperity or Terra Luna, whose tower of mythical gains crash rapidly. Cardano has failed to deliver the astronomical gains expected from it. According to many, it has so many goals written on paper with little to no implementation. 
However, Cardano is not playing a dormant game. So much work is going on behind the headlines and data reports. Regardless of the wild expectations and predictions, Cardano is still building. And that looks like more of a good reason than a pitiful excuse. Cardano has had plenty of failures. Last year, in preparation for the launch of Vassal, Cardano's testnet was reported to be catastrophically broken, according to his Twitter thread. The main reason behind the issue was a bug in Cardano node version 1.35.2. This was later resolved, but it invited so many accusations to the Cardano ecosystem. Many regretted getting involved with it. Therefore, Cardano took a great hit. Back then, the issue with the Vassal upgrade was the main fuel for the reversal of the market, which led to irreparable consequences for ADA. Also, a new report by Into the Block has revealed that a significant majority of Cardano holders are currently experiencing losses. According to the data analytics firm, at least 80% of all ADA holders are out of money, implying that they are holding on to the token at a loss. This equates to a total of 3.44 million addresses, holding a combined total of 26.85 billion ADA, equivalent to $9.48 billion at current prices. Among cryptocurrencies with a market capitalization of more than $1 billion in terms of the ratio of losing addresses to profitable ones, Cardano is currently in ninth place, with a total market capitalization of $12.47 billion. Only $1.66 billion worth of ADA is in profit. Interestingly, those who bought a Cardano token between $0.37 cents and $0.45 cents per token hold most of the loss-making ADA. There are currently 743,560 such addresses, and they hold 13 billion ADA. It's interesting because Cardano token was trading at such prices at the beginning of April, at the same time as local peak was reached. This means that investors bought a bunch of ADA, inspired by that price action, and the next week, they were locked in with losses, which had been growing in the next four weeks, including the current one. With this devastating outcome, Cardano looks like it's shredding to bits. But the Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, does not share this opinion. He sees Cardano as a successful project with a layer of goodies to unveil. Charles Hoskinson once said that venture capital funds will come organically when Cardano decentralized apps start sealing million dollar valuations. He said this during the mainnet 2022 in New York in an interview moderated by Ryan Selkis. Hoskinson argued that if you build it, they will come. He said that VCs will come to Cardano and they will get involved organically because greed is their thing and it's their fiduciary obligation to their investors. So where they get involved is where you see multiple Cardano dApps starting to get multi-billion dollar valuations. Because there is something for them to invest in, there is something for them to connect to. So probably 2023-2024, he said. The CEO did note, however, that Cardano has their own VC in the ecosystem, Catalyst, which has $500 million worth of ADA and emits about 60 million to 70 million per year, he noted. When asked if he thought that the VCs currently overlook the Cardano ecosystem, he replied that some do, some don't. But that depends on the location and type of economy. Furthermore, for many observers, the collapse of Luna and UST was a black eye for cryptocurrency. But to Charles Hoskinson, it was a validation of his go slow approach to developing a blockchain. If you move too quickly, as we've seen with Luna, we've seen with $10.5 billion of hacks last year, you could actually get it to work until it doesn't. And then when it doesn't, it's a catastrophic failure and everyone loses their money, the Cardano founder said in an interview with Coindesk. By contrast, he said that he and his company IOG are moving deliberately and building the Cardano network, playing the long arc game, measured not in weeks or months, but in years to decades. We always said it's not first, it's best out of the gate. The people who are going to survive are those who are tested under stress and exhibit resiliency he said. So we might have interpreted Cardano's silent strides as potential preparation for failure. Cardano is still building, so let's give it time and of course, give it some credit. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.